Hi there guys, well in the spotlight today is the MSI G62VR6RF Apache Pro. Probably the longest name for a notebook to date. Uh, but if you guys are subscribers to our channel, you'll know that we recently reviewed the Gigabyte P55, which bears an identical spec to this unit today. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see how these two models shape up in terms of the performance. So G62 arrives with the Intel Skylake Core i7-6700HQ, 16 gig of DDR4, an M.2 SSD, and for that graphics delivery, the Nvidia GTX 1060. So how much are you going to pay for this notebook? Well, it is priced as follows. In the UK, £1,500. In the US, you're looking at around $1,600. So pretty much the same price as that Gigabyte P55, as well as very similar hardware. I don't know about you guys, but this should be a, uh, an exciting review today, as once we do take a look, a detailed look at this notebook, we will be doing a comparison to see if MSI can kind of edge their way in front. So enjoy. Right guys, we're going to start with the unboxing experience for our G62. Now since this is a gaming notebook from MSI, we have that Dragon emblem there. And of course, VR Ready is a prominent thing with these new lineup of uh, MSI notebooks since we have those Pascal based GPUs. Now in the bottom corner here, we've got some awards. Now, this is slightly misleading because looking at those, you would assume that that has been assigned to this particular model of notebook. But these awards here, they have been given in the previous generation of MSI notebooks. But you know, automatically looking at those, you would assume that uh, those have been given to this particular model. Now, if we just flip this box over, we have the numerous features that our notebook arrives with. And we're gonna have a look at these in the video as we progress. But uh, just having a look at this box, it is quite sturdy. We have that carry handle there at the top. So, you know, if you don't have a gaming notebook, um, bag, then this is going to come in really handy. It's going to be very useful for transporting your unit around. Okay, now inside we get the notebook in a fabric sleeve, as you can see. And uh, although there's no foam padding, we do have plenty of cardboard in and around that to, just to keep it nice and uh, positioned and uh, it's not going to sort of shake around while it is in transit. In the center there, we have all of the documentation. So we've got the quick start guide, we've got all the warranty details. We don't get a driver CD with this, uh, but we do have a really good uh, recovery tool built into the notebook. So that will do a factory reset. It will pre-install um, Windows 10 and it has all of the software and all of the drivers built in. So that's a, a, you know, no need to have the actual CD. And you can of course get the latest on the website. Over on the left side, we have the charging unit. As you can see, that is a slimline device. It does fit into the palm of my hand. It's about that big. And it does have the triple pin there, which over on the right side we have, which plugs directly into there. Now that is a UK adapter since I'm in the UK. So, you know, obviously if you're in a different country, European or US, you will get that. Okay, well here is our G62. Now if you've seen any of our coverage of the MSI notebooks from the previous generation, you'll see a key likeness here. MSI has tweaked the design, but only in a very subtle sense. So our G62 retains that modern, classic and elegant styling, but also comes in with a touch of gamer-oriented features too, as we're going to see. So first up, let's take a look at those dimensions. G62 is 383mm wide, 260mm deep, and just 27 millimeters high. And then on the weight, you're looking at 2.4 kilos with a battery. And if you saw our recent video with the Gigabyte P55, a direct rival to this notebook, you'll notice that our MSI here is slightly smaller and it weighs a tad lighter too. And although those figures are marginal, this still means that you're able to take this unit overseas as the weight takes up around half the weight that you get for your cabin luggage allocation. Taking a look at the lid on G62, this is where we have the touch of elegance. This lid here provides us with that brushed aluminium surface and it bears those concave accents on either side. And as is common with the MSI notebooks, that dragon badge takes pride of place on that lid and it will illuminate once the system has power. So running down the left edge, we have Kensington lock allocation, gigabit LAN, a USB 3 port, a HDMI port, mini display port, a USB 3.1 type C, and the headphone and microphone jacks. And it's great to see the inclusion of 3.1 there and the option to use different video outs, although that HDMI port there, it is 1.4. It isn't 2.0, which is a shame really. And over on the other side, we have the Super Multi Drive, giving you the optical storage for CD and DVD. We have a single USB 2 port, an SDXC HC card reader, and the DC import there for the charger. And again, just like the HDMI comment, we'd like to have seen USB 3 instead of the USB 2 port, since this is backwards compatible anyway. 
around the back, although we don't have any functionality by way of additional ports, we do have some outlets there for the internal cooling. And having the ventilation at the back rather than the sides is a much better idea, as if you are using a mouse with this notebook, that heat spilling out won't interfere with anything, i.e. melt the skin off your hand. If we turn the notebook over, we have five rubber feet to keep the notebook nice and steady on those smooth surfaces, and uh, we have quite a bit of ventilation for those internal components, as you can see. On this back side, we also have a subwoofer and two respective speakers towards the front, and all of this utilizes MSI's Audio Boost 2 technology. On the back, we also have a sticker which tells you the serial number. That will come in handy if you need to contact MSI customer support. And while we do have the notebook on this side, let's whip off that back panel, but doing so, by the way, does void that warranty. So our G62 is based on Skylake architecture and thus at the centre of our notebook we have the Intel Core i7-6700HQ which is a quad core processor which has a base frequency of 2.6GHz which turbo boosts up to 35 Taking care of the graphics we have Nvidia's new GTX 1060. Now just like the desktop variant this mobile version here has the same specs for the CUDA cores, the memory bandwidth, the GDDR5 and the interface. It is just a clock speeds which differ. So there are 1280 CUDA the cores, 8 gig for the memory bandwidth, 6 gig for the GDDR5, and this GPU uses 192 bit interface. And later on, we'll be testing out this GPU to see exactly what kind of performance we can squeeze out. Now, unlike the Gigabyte P55 that we had a look at just a few days ago, for the cooling, MSI's opted for a dual fan configuration, each taking advantage of triple copper heat pipes, which sees independent cooling for both the CPU and the GPU. So in theory, this should present us with better performance in terms of the thermals, providing us with lower temperatures, but all will be revealed later on. For the system memory, we have 16 gig of Samsung DDR4, which operates at 2133. That should be plenty for most applications and will certainly come in handy for more demanding tasks. However, this notebook can accommodate up to 32 gig. As is a common arrangement nowadays, we have two storage drives inside G62. We have a 256 gig Kingston M.2 SSD for the primary drive. So that will give you the faster transfer rates in and around Windows, and we'll be testing that out later in the video. And then the secondary drive is a large capacity one terabyte Hitachi Travel Star. That is mechanical and it operates at 7200 RPM. So on the SSD, you'll store the core lineup of applications, while on the larger drive, there is sufficient space there for movies pictures and games. The battery inside P55 is a 6 cell unit and it is fixed to the notebook. So if during that warranty period it does need swapping out, MSI tech support will take care of that for you. Now that battery is going to offer you just under 3 hours for very light usage, but if you're watching a movie or playing games, then that will reduce significantly to approximately an hour and a half. But if you were playing a game anyway, power saving limitations will hit that GPU and you'll experience frame rate drop, so it makes perfect sense really to use that charger while you are gaming to get that optimum performance in game. Now as well as a wired gigabit connection, G62 also provides us with the benefits of A2211 AC along with Bluetooth 4. And the component responsible for providing this is the Intel 3165 NGW, which is a dual band card. Okay, so if we open up our notebook, we have a 15.6 inch display, which is an IPS. And on this unit here, we have up to full HD. As an option, you can get 4K, but you know, given that we have got a 1060 inside this model, and since we have the screen size of 15 inch, it would certainly be an odd decision to go with. So this screen is superb on the eye, it gives clarity, it is nice and vibrant. And with this, MSI install a profiling system which can provide you with different modes, one of which is anti-blue, which is ideal there for those late night sessions. So it's really nice to see such a feature ready to use, so a thumbs up to MSI for this. Just above the screen, we have an integrated webcam which offers you 720p at 30 frames, and that has a mic too. Now, MSI has been working with a number of partners for many years now, and uh, two of them are Dyn Audio and Steel Series. And this collab continues with a new range of MSI notebooks. And Dyn Audio take care of the sound system on our G62. And if you're into sound and audio, then this is a definite step up to other rival notebooks. So the keyboard comes courtesy of SteelSeries and it features custom etching. It is based on a QWERTY design, but as you can see there, there have been some slight modifications. Not only are these keys probably the best we've experienced in terms of feedback and tactile response, but this keyboard also arrives with some of the most impressive LED backlighting to date. As usual, you can customize those keys on a per key basis using the SteelSeries engine as well as add commands and macros to specific buttons too. And of course, if lighting isn't your thing, you can switch it off altogether. Up at the top of this keyboard, we have a SteelSeries button to jump to different profiles. And there is also a button which sets the fans inside our notebook at 100% to bring down those temperatures at the touch of a button.
And then finally we have the touch pad. This blends into the brushed metal design and it sits a little off center. And after using this for a number of hours, we can vouch for it being accurate and responsive. And there are two independent clickers just below there for left and right. And just underneath all of this, we have the activity LEDs. Okay, so we've taken a detailed look at our notebook and it's only right now that we observe the performance by putting our G62 through some benchmarks. So the plan is to firstly boot into Windows 10 from a cold boot and see how long that takes. And then we're going to see what the read and write performance is like for the M.2 drive. And then we'll run PC Mark 8. And after that it's time for the game. So we'll compare this against the Gigabyte P55. And so for the games we're going to be going with Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Hitman, The Witcher 3 and Doom. And in the background while everything is running we'll monitor the CPU and the GPU temperatures. And towards the end of the video we'll also do a quick reading there of the noise while the system is loaded so you get an idea of how noisy this notebook is. Okay so first of all let's boot G62 and see how quick we get into Windows 10 from a cold boot. Okay, now that we're in, let's run Crystal Disk Mark to get an idea of the transfer rates from the SSD. And it's now time to run our game, so we'll use 1080p, and in each of those we'll use the max settings for the detail. And we'll also compare to the recently reviewed Gigabyte P55, which also uses the GTX 1060.
but with Doom still running, let's get a quick reading there of the cooling fan noise with those cooling fans on auto. Okay, and throughout all of those tests, we've had real temp and GPU-Z running in the background to pick up on the maximum temperatures, and here they are. All right, well, that concludes our look at the MSI G62. Now, this notebook adopts that classic design, which many have come to love over the years, and it works. There really isn't any need to make any alterations or changes to that overall design. Inside G62, we have the 6700HQ, 16GB of DDR4, and the GTX 1060. And having that hardware there means that you're going to be able to jump into the most of the latest titles and game at 1080p, enjoy high DDL presets at decent frame rates. Now in this video we frequently refer back to that uh, Gigabyte P55 which we looked at just a few days ago and the reason for that was because uh, both of these notebooks are in the same price range and therefore they have a similar hardware spec and having used both of these here um, we can safely say it's pretty obvious to me which one I would go with especially given the fact that the Gigabyte exceeds 90 degrees under load so MSI is the clear winner and uh, it is for the following reasons, and there are a number of reasons. It obviously produces less heat. Um, all of that noise is kind of behind the screen, behind the lid, so it is less noisy. Uh, the SSD is faster in some regards, uh, one of those being that boot up time. And then we get nifty little extras such as the MSI True Color, the screen profiling, and uh, that impressive keyboard. Uh, from SteelSeries which not only looks and feels and, and performs great but it has that customizable LED backlighting too. Uh, it's also uh, you know, slightly smaller in the dimensions, it is lighter so everything you'd be looking for really in a notebook. And it is quite telling you know, just how adding that dedicated, uh, dedicated heat pipe to the heatsink and a cooling fan for that GPU translates to a huge drop in temperature. You know, compared to that P55 uh, the G62 uh, with that 1060 is around 20 degrees cooler, so that is significant. Now there are a few points which could be improved. HDMI 2 would have been uh, better for future proofing. Uh, swapping out USB 2 for USB 3 would have been good too, but you know some of those points are insignificant to some people. So guys, the full review for this is going to be up on the screen in the description very soon. Over there, even more benchmarks for those who are interested. So thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video today. Hope you did find it useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, guys, and I'll see you very soon.